In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for PbNO3 2 plus NH4I. This is lead to nitrate plus ammonium iodide. First thing we need to do for net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. I can see right off that I have a nitrate here. I have two of them, but only one here. So I'm just going to put a two in front of my ammonium nitrate. That balances the nitrates, but now I have two ammonium ions and just one here. So I'll put a two here. That balances the ammoniums. Now I have two iodines, but I have two of them here. That's good. And one lead on each side. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble, if you know your solubility rules. So that's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Ammonium compounds, this NH4 here, ammonium compounds, also very soluble little AQ. You have another ammonium nitrate. So an ammonium and a nitrate, that will be soluble. But when you see lead, you always want to be careful. If you look this up on a solubility table, you'll see that it's insoluble. It won't dissolve in water. Probably a good one to remember, PBI2 comes up quite a bit. It's insoluble, so it'll be a solid. That's because it doesn't dissolve, it stays a solid. When these two react, it falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. So we have our states now. We can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. For lead to nitrate, we don't know the charge on lead. It's a transition metal. But we do know that the entire nitrate ion is 1 minus. Good one to remember. 2 times 1 minus. So this is 2 minus the lead. That has to be a 2 plus. So we have Pb2 plus. This is the lead 2 ion. And I won't write the states. Let's do that later. Plus 2 nitrate ions. And O3 minus, and the ammonium ion, NH4, that's going to be positive, always one plus. Good one to remember. Iodide ion is one minus. So two ammonium ions and then two iodide ions. And these are going to be the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart. So we're just going to keep this PBI2 together as a solid. And then we have a positive and a negative. So two ammonium ions and two nitrate ions. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So I'm looking at the reactants and then the products. I have two nitrate ions here in the reactants. And down here, I have two more in the products. Spectator ions, cross them out two ammonium ions here in the reactants, again in the products, get rid of those. But what's left, that's the net ionic equation for PBNO32 plus NH4I. I'll clean this up and write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead to nitrate plus ammonium iodide. You'll note that charge is conserved, we have a two plus here, two times one minus, that's two minus. So the two plus, two minus, give us a net charge of zero. This is a neutral compound net charge of zero. So the charge is the same on both sides and the atoms there balanced as well. This is Dr. V with the balanced net ionic equation for PBNO32 plus NH4I. Thanks for watching.